Welcome back to How to Cake It. I'm exhausted. I just got back from a long trip to the moon in the rocket cake that I created. Look out, Elon. He thinks he's the only one who can build a rocket. You know what I mean? My business partner and the CEO of How to Cake It, Connie, loves rockets. There's a rocket in our logo on our mission statement in the hall over there. It's Connie's birthday, so I thought a rocket cake is perfect, but I have to make it cutesy wootsy. You know what I mean, right? Connie's cutesy wootsy. Yeah. It's, I'm not gonna make her some metal, hard, cold rocket. Mm. Happy birthday, Connie. Write happy birthday in the comments to her below. I would appreciate it. Speaking of rockets, I have been playing this game, Toon Blast. Toon Blast is a free to play mobile game available on all devices. And you need to create these magical combos of rockets and disc, I love disco balls. Hello, born in the 70s. And then they blast the cubes out of your way so that you can solve the puzzle. I have to explode 173 balloons in 33 moves. <laughs> okay, look at this. Yes. Ooh. Okay. There you go. Now you're so good. I want another cluster. There we go. It's filled with cute characters and animation called the Toon Gang, and they sort of guide your way through these puzzles. They even play in a band? Look at them. When you pass levels, there's all these little games that pop up. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. one of the Toon Gang is eating a taco and they need water and you have to like get the water to him. Yeah. This game is a lot of fun, it's easy to learn and there are no ads and you don't need Wi-Fi. So thank you to Toon Blast for sponsoring this video. You guys can download the game in the link below and you'll receive three hours of unlimited life and a hundred points. I need an extra three hours of unlimited life and energy. And uh, let's build a rocket. I wanted my rocket cake to be colorful inside and out, so I used the tie-dye method for my batter, and I baked a seven inch round, three six inch rounds, and one five inch round. Like the caramelized dome always looks, well, Love. ugly. And then when you cut it open, you get to reveal the beautiful pattern inside. So I just love this. It's like a rocket, it's exploding, right? Yeah. It's like a little fireball, like Connie. In order to use the tie-dye method, we're just going to continuously pour different colors on top of one another, right in the center. So when you're pouring the batter in, it kind of looks like rings. But the fun part is you can't control how it bakes. So even though I poured the batter in the same way into all the pans, they all turned out differently. Now it's time to simple syrup all 10 layers of this cake. I'm using plain simple syrup. Did you not make simple syrup with like dark Rocket fuel? With rocket fuel? No, I thought that would be unhealthy. Now I'm going to fill and stack these cakes as two. I already know this rocket is gonna be tricky because it's quite a simple shape. However, it is tapered at the bottom and that makes cakes wobble. I kind of choose to put color in one place or the other. Like you guys have seen me make cakes that are vanilla or chocolate and then I'll color the buttercream to make it vibrant inside. But in this case, the cakes are so vibrant, I'm sticking to just plain Italian meringue buttercream. So now I have stacked two cakes, five layers each, and I've stacked them in Taperedly? Yeah, taperedly, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then once they're chilled, I'm gonna start to carve. So for the top half, I wanna try and make it as pointy as I can on top, and I'm just... <laughs> <laughs> you know what the problem is? When you ride in a rocket, it makes you very disoriented. Disoriented? Yeah, so now yeah. that I'm back... Um, sugar, that's sugar It's rocket. the sugar rush. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Carve all the way around the cake. I've done this like 10,000 times on this channel, but you want to overlap your cuts, use the center of the knife, and you're just sort of rounding down. I just tread lightly because if you cut away too much cake, that's hard to fix. So I'd rather go around softly and go back if I need to. And of course, when I put this cake together, I can still carve it at that point. It'll just be more wobbly. Before I assemble the cake, I'm gonna crumb coat. So I crumb coat the top and bottom, chill, and now I can put the cake together. So you wanna take the bottom of the cake, place some dowels in it, you put a dowel in, cut it to the exact height of the cake, place dowels in, and then you need to put a board that's the exact same size as the cake, not sticking out, put the other cake on top, and then 
Did I put a dowel through the whole thing? Yes. Through. I put a dowel through the center. Now here's what's tricky. If this was a cake I was taking somewhere, I would sharpen the dowel and make sure the dowel went all the way through the board under the cake and then the base board that the whole cake is on. But because I know I have to pick up this cake and put it on something else, mm. I can't have the dowel sticking out because it will get in the way. Mm. It's very tricky. And now I need to ice this cake. I'm gonna ice it with Italian meringue buttercream, use my invention to help me keep it nice and smooth and chill it. Mission control told me that there is rustling. I'm gonna put the microphone on the outside. Can you hear me down on earth? Why can't I put this on properly? I feel like a TikToker. <laughs> so to make this cake, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Right? It's time to move on to fondant. And this is where I had all the trouble. Every summer I make a cake and then I remember how hard it is to make cakes in the summer. Without fail, it's like I forget. Winter comes, I forget all about those woes. So I am not gonna drape this cake because that would be a disaster. I am going to wrap this cake. This was still tricky because the rocket is widest in the middle. As I'm unraveling, the, the fondant would be touching the entire cake surface. But while doing this, it was mainly touching the center. So I have to make sure to smooth it onto the cake as I'm unraveling. And it's one of those situations where, again, I'm working like quickly but carefully. Now that the fondant is on the cake, I'm gonna work on smoothing it. Where it overlaps itself on the back, I'm gonna cut a nice even line, cut away all the excess. The fondant is nice and smooth, but boy, is it sweaty. And there's a plus and a minus to that. It's helpful for sticking other pieces of fondant onto the fondant. The surface is already wet, it sticks easily. But this is bad because <laughs> everything sticks to it. And because I'm planning to cover the top of the rocket yellow and the bottom pink, and I need to put more on and then trim it, the colors are going to stain the white fondant. This is just like a polo tortilla. It's just, I'm telling you. Yeah. This might be tougher. Than returning from the moon? Yeah, I mean, look at me, I returned from the moon and I can't even talk today. So, it's that zero gravity, you know what yeah. I mean? Your mic is broken. Everything's going wrong. Broken. Everything's going wrong. My hair Mom won't curl saying. at the end. I mean, who knows what is happening. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm on moon time. Woo! Yeah. Let's go! And you wait. <laughs> what are we waiting for? And you wait. Less? Less? Let's go! <laughs> and then what I'm gonna do is just chill the cake because it was so hot. And that way it'll be nice and chilled before I cut those lines perfectly. And by the way, I kept using the rocket emoji as a reference. So I just kept like opening my phone and looking at it. I'm going for that kind of cute. And as predicted, the white fondant was stained underneath. What you can do to get rid of that is, sometimes if the fondant is really sweaty on the surface, you can use the blade of your knife to sort of scrape that away lightly. If not, you can use clear food grade alcohol like vodka and brush the color off. It kind of works like an eraser. Now I need to create the other um, details on the rocket. So I'm gonna roll out some black, I think I rolled up black, green, pink, and then I made a little window with all of the colors as well, leaving it black inside to give the illusion of like emptiness. Why did we not give you an astronaut costume for this episode? I don't think I could conduct an interview through a helmet. <laughs> I'd be like, it would be like, guys, so to make the We could have done it through like, what do they speak through, walkie-talkies? Is there? Walkie-talkies? <laughs> <laughs> like... No, Yolanda, they get two plastic glasses. <laughs> the rope in between. Okay, listen. One rope is in Houston. You know how there's like, there is a microphone in the helmet, isn't there? Yeah. yeah how are they talking? Walkie-talkie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. So, where am I? Where am You're I? in the studio. On Earth, right? I'm back on Earth? You're back on Earth. Okay, it's so. <laughs> I didn't know what to call the feet of the rocket. They're fins. We fins. Google fins, like fish. So here, here's the worst part of it being humid. The fins I need to make out of gum paste. And we basically left them to dry. They never dried. Oh, oh no. They didn't even dry slightly. So I ended up using Halloween cake stand that's black, flipping it upside down and putting the cake 
under. But the legs of cake stands are hollow. So first I shoved a whole bunch of gum paste inside. <laughs> and then put it on top. But it was so terrifying because we could see that it was starting to tilt. Oh, no. Which in this case, it works because rockets kind of take off. Like when I picture a rocket, I picture it sort of tilting. I don't picture it. Sure. Sometimes they tilt too much and they crash. Don't bring that up! <laughs> so I put it on and then I started to camouflage with cotton candy. Of all days to use cotton candy. We know about oh, cotton no. candy and humidity, right? So basically humidity in the air just starts to dissolve cotton candy. So it didn't stay really fluffy. As soon as I was putting it out, it started to like. Oh, wow. And then I put sprinkles on the cotton candy because I had to kick it rock. It would obviously blast off with cotton candy and sprinkles. But now it's time to add these fins that are not dry at all. So first I need to paint them silver, and I did this by brushing them with a thin layer of shortening and then dry brushing silver luster dust on top. Now I have to insert them in the cake, and let me tell you, this was so hard. So I used a knife to create a slit in the cake already, and then I started to insert them in. But if you look at the cake, you can kind of see that they're, they're like bending. <laughs> My rocket will not make it near the sun. You know what the best part was? Connie was here and everyone was having a meeting. And then she just saw it and she was like, oh my God, a rocket. And I was like, it's for you. <laughs> Cause we wanted to surprise her, but I didn't know. <gasps> she loved it. She didn't care that the wings were soft. The fins, fins or wings. So this is how you make a rocket cake. But when you make it, make your fins in advance. Unlike me. If you don't wanna make this rocket cake, but you want to play a game with rockets in it, then download Toon Blast. The link is in the description below, or you can click the QR code on the screen. Or Hans? Somewhere around to you. Put it right here. <laughs> click the go. <laughs> okay guys, everyone's here for the party for Connie's birthday. Look at them all. I'm just the only one on camera. Elon, that's how I build rockets. Here it comes. Wait. <laughs> We're building anticipation. <laughs> First slice is for Connie. Kaylee, Rachel, Helena. You, Shuchi, and me. <laughs> now I'm gonna eat cake in outer space. Can I just like, should I, is it looking real, Shuchi? I will see you guys next week. I promise I'll be more well rested and adjusted to planet Earth. Let's make something down to Earth. Perhaps, I'm gonna make something down to Earth. That's what I'm gonna do. Which is? What? Are you about to make it? Oh, am I gonna tell them? Do you want to? No!